Vice President Joe Biden calls the newest graduate, graduates of the Air Force Academy strategic thinkers as well as warriors and the future of the new world order. It allows us to refocus our intelligence and military assets and resources to other parts of the world where they are needed, where we face new challenges. This is the world you are graduating into. This is what I want to talk about today with you for a few minutes. I believe we, and particularly you, your class, has an incredible window of opportunity to lead in shaping a new world order for the 21st century in a way consistent with American interest and the common interest. Just so we're crystal clear on where we're headed, a course that I don't think was ever interrupted by Donald Trump. Joe Biden talking to the Air Force Academy in 2014, talking about a new world order. I'm sure it's just a figure of speech, as it always has been when world leaders use that term. What's going on, guys? May K Electric. It's currently Wednesday, 11 11, 2020. Crazy date. The chaos that has ensued. I have a ton of links for you, a ton of news. You know, I just want to say, first off, I believe everything you're witnessing right now is theater. I don't think any of this is real. Of course, there was massive voter fraud, but I'm someone who thinks that the election was already, uh, the next president was already picked before the election. I'm someone who, who believes that the New World Order is in control of all of this, and they would like nothing more but to see chaos, which is exactly what's going to ensue. Let's just get into some of the news that I've got here. Biden comment about voter fraud, or look at this. Did everyone see this video? Let me see if I get it to play. Joe Biden told you before the election exactly what was going to happen. Secondly, we're in a situation where we have put together, and you guys did, did it for our administration, the President Obama's administration. do it for every administration. Before this, we have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics. I'll put a link to that video if you want to see it yourself. What is one thing the Illuminati and the New World Order, the powers that be, love to do? They love to tell you what they're going to do before they do it. Now, most of the time, this is subliminal in music and movies and TV commercials and things like that. Another reason why I think Jericho is going to play out at any minute. But he straight up told you, right to the camera, what was going to happen before it happened. And it happened. Biden now projected to receive more votes. Does anyone believe this? Listen, Joe Biden is the most voted president, voted for president in the United States history. You have to be a special kind of stupid to actually believe that. But that's the official story. I'll put a link from Yahoo News. Trump says states where Biden recently declared victory to be legally challenged for voter fraud. Indeed, oh, the scandal all over the nation. Every state, voter fraud, uh, software, machines, you know, mail-in ballots dumped in trash cans and, you know, votes being changed at the voting booth and, you know, all of the overseers locked out and windows boarded up. It's happening all across the country. Massive voter fraud. I have no doubt that it's completely real. Operation Scorecard. Here's just one story. CIA run vote theft software running in every swing state. I'll put a link to this so-called glitches going on. I believe this is all scripted people. I believe the New World Order did this on purpose. They want to see civil war, which is exactly where we're headed because Donald Trump says, hell no, I don't concede. In fact, he's kicking people out and firing people and surrounding himself with, I mean, it's going to be an interesting next couple of months, assuming we don't get hit by an asteroid. Leaked footage, you know, here's, here's for the people who thought that Fox News were the good guys all this time for the past four years because they give Trump all the positive, all, all the positive stuff, they're all owned and controlled by the same people. Not one channel on your cable system isn't controlled by the New World Order. Did you see what Fox did? Let me see if I can get this video to play. This well, is just whoever epic. Whoever decided to be the president, remember, just because CNN says, or even Fox News says that somebody's president, doesn't make them president. So I think everybody what? wants to know what? that this was done properly mm. and legally. What is happening? What is happening? Crazy. We've called it. And I think we We've have called to it. Into We've called it. Deserves. The mainstream yeah, media. <laughs> Live on Fox News. We've called it. It's over. It's done. The mainstream media decides who's going to be president. You know why? Because who owns the mainstream media? The fucking New World Order does. People think their vote matters. 
Armed Trump supporters wield assault rifles, wave mega flags. Of course, growing protests around the nation. There's going to be a march on D.C. and all this. Prepare yourselves, people. Trump planned to hold rallies. He's going to actually hold rallies to lead his followers in the legal war. How do you think this is going to go? No borders, no walls, no USA at all. Chance crowd in Denver, Colorado. That's exactly what the New World Order wants. An openless, you know, North American Union. No borders at all. I don't care how many legal challenges there are and how much voter fraud you can prove. Joe Biden will be the next president of the United States if we don't go into full-blown civil war. Do you really see them turning this thing around? I know everybody wants to hold on to hope. Okay? You know, but Donald Trump is every bit as much of New World Order as Joe Biden is. Donald Trump was chosen by the New World Order. This is just my opinion, of course. To entertain the nation, they put a game show host in the White House in order to divide and entertain and keep us all pacified. And they're, they're, they're done with that. Their next choice is Joe Biden. Now, maybe Trump doesn't want to leave the White House, or maybe this is all he's just playing the act. I don't know. But let's talk about some of the stuff Trump has done. And this is not a popular thing to say on YouTube. Nobody likes it when you mess with their false reality. Show me where we've drained the swamp. We're going to drain that swamp, huh? Who's the first person Donald Trump had over to the White House? Henry New World Order Kissinger. If you don't know who Henry Kissinger is, just Google his name. Oh, they're good, good friends. Bump stock ban. Nobody wants to talk about that. When the bump stock issue comes up, everybody wants to talk about, oh, well, it's a stupid accessory anyway, and who needs it and all this. The conversation shouldn't be how you feel about whether the bump stock is a good or bad accessory. The conversation should be the fact that you could no longer own one. Take the guns first. Have due process later. Donald Trump said that. Q. Trust the plan. All these people that want to hang on to their false reality. Where's all the Q bullshit now? We're going to trust the plan and Trump is playing 5G chess and all. People are still talking about Trump playing 5D chess. What the hell are you talking about? The Matrix has you. Wake up. Trump has given billions of dollars to Big Pharma, and we're going to get into COVID-19 and forced vaccines in a minute. Trump has given billions of your taxpayer dollars to Pfizer, Moderna, and all the rest of them. How do you feel about that? There's actually people that were in the anti-vaccine community actually wanting the COVID vaccine because Donald Trump is leading the charge. What has happened to you people? What is the matter with you? You take that shot and whatever happens to you, you know what? That's your fault. You know words you will never hear Donald Trump tweet on Twitter? Death to the New World Order. He might talk about the deep state and all this, but the deep state is, is for, the, the, for the half awake or the one quarter uh, percent awake crowd. Don't come at me with deep state this and Q bullshit that. I'm fighting the New World Order, and nobody wants to talk about that. Because those are the people who are real. I'm getting way off into a tangent here. Let's just get on with the rest of these links. i got a ton of stuff to give you. Leftists, never, never Trumpers begin compiling lists of Trump supporters. AOC leading that. David Hogg says if Trump does not win he, and refuses to leave young people are ready to launch mass general strike on a scale never before seen in American history. Well, David Hogg, you no gun having little pussy. You're not going to do shit. Biden, first move as president. Let's get into the COVID-19 mask mandate for all. Here's how he plans on doing it. You didn't see the Biden speech the other day. Pull it up. Check it out. How do you think the world's going to look when, when Biden is brought in? It's going to be full-on New World Order lockdown. We have a vaccine. Pfizer, Biotech say COVID vaccine more than 90% effective. I guarantee you everybody will be required to take this vaccine if you want to participate in any form of society. And by the way... In case people haven't seen the numbers lately, uh, yesterday, 11-10-2020, 136,000. Now, I think these numbers are complete bullshit, but it doesn't matter if these numbers are bullshit because these are the numbers that are going to be used to justify the martial law in America, the, the complete lockdown and military takeover of cities as they've been training for years and as a conspiracy crowd has pointed out every time that that military training was not being used, was not being practiced for overseas activity. It will be turned inward on the American people, no matter who is in the White House, because the New World Order is in charge. Who do you think is doing this? 
So have a look at the numbers. Off the charts. Off the charts. They're talking about bringing in mobile morgues all across the country. State Bar of New York passes mandatory COVID-19 vaccination recommendation. Mandatory vaccines be advised. Does anybody remember this video from 2009 and what this man said? You will be required to prove your inoculation before you're going to participate in any form of society. And they have a special FEMA camp for those who want to resist. They either prove their vaccination Just listen for a minute. by papers or, in the case of a medical specialist in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, who told me that they had observed a semi-tractor trailer being... Now keep in mind, this is in 2009. This plan has so far not been executed, but I believe with COVID-19, they have the perfect excuse to execute this plan. Being unloaded at the hospital loading dock. Because you're going to have to prove you're inoculated. Scores How are you going to do that? Of metal bracelets that once put on would slip into a place and, and be either uh, pegged in there with some kind of uh, device to hold it in place, but the band was meant to be permanent. On top is a chip. That chip will include all kinds of information about you and the fact that you have been inoculated. If you haven't seen this full video, I'll put a link to it. Watch it. Share it. Make people aware of the very real reality that could come true at any moment. I got a couple more. As a refresher course, for those of you who may be half awake or new to this, or maybe you just want to go over who's actually in charge of things, I'll put a couple videos at the bottom. Naomi Wolf, The End of America. A great lecture, 50 minutes long. Listen to what she's saying about how societies close down throughout history. And if you want to go really far down the rabbit hole, I have always recommended this documentary put together by John Nada in 2008, Wake Up Call. The full movie. You want, you want to, I mean, I realize people don't like watching long videos. It seems like everybody nowadays is making really long videos. But if you want to know what's really happening in this world, watch this documentary. It will lay it all out for you. And then you decide what you think about what the documentary is telling you. And, and don't, don't just dismiss it as a conspiracy theory. Do what us truly awake people did. Ten plus years ago, sleepless nights, long nights on blog TV and Skype calls and, and just sharing information. You research this film. You research what it's telling you. And then you'll come to realize, especially those of you who are, who are caught in that left-right, two-dimensional, Republican, Democrat bullshit, when none of it matters at all. It's all entertainment. It's all the New World Order has made their decision. Now they're just going to watch it all crumble. People are actually, relationships are ending. Friendships are breaking up because, the, because of the Biden-Trump feud. I'm not getting involved in any of that because I know the truth. And if you watch this documentary, you'll know the truth too. So just some links to give you. Where are we headed? Massive chaos. Trump isn't going to step down willingly, and maybe that's the plan. There's going to be marches. There's going to be people in the streets. There's going to be Americans killing Americans over the issue of Joe Biden or Donald Trump when none of it matters. The New World Order's made up their mind. This is all prescripted. Of course, this is all just my opinion. The forced vaccines will be coming. The, the massive lockdowns will be coming as the numbers skyrocket. So they say... The forced vaccine will be a reality. Mark my words. I hate to give you all doom and gloom, but I refuse to live in a false reality where people are just holding on the hope that everything's going to be okay. Wake the hell up. Those of you who are truly awake, you remain vigilant. Check your preps. Make sure you're ready for anything at any moment. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with me for a few minutes. Please tell me what you think in the comments. Tell me if I, you think I'm just batshit crazy. But I don't think so, people. Dark winter ahead, right, Joe Biden? You guys take care, stay safe, remain vigilant always. Tons of links at the bottom. I will see you at the next one.